Muy buenas a todos, estamos en el refugio, pero tenía que quedarme a ver esto antes de entrar. Tenía que quedarme a ver esto. La verdad es que apenas hemos empezado, de hecho, es que no hemos hecho nada, pero esto es inmenso. Es precioso. La verdad es que me siento como si no fuera nada, sobre todo si me comparo con todo lo que hay por aquí. Y la verdad es que me podría quedar aquí un buen rato, pero tenemos cosas que hacer. Así que venga, vamos allá, Elma. Well, here we are. Not too shabby, huh? For a giant beach spaceship, anyway. But, like it or not, this place is our home now. We took the name from the city it was modeled after back on Earth. We call it New Los Angeles. Welcome to NLA. Wow. Es impresionante. And so it was that another survivor came to join our band of refugees. Together, we resolved to forge a new way of life here on Mira. Come what may. New LA was our beautiful lie to ourselves. Truth is, we were adrift. Heading into the unknown. Our native home was gone, swallowed in a shroud of light. And our future was uncertain. We had no idea what fate lay in store for us. Only that we had to keep living in order to see it. Vale, me siento muy pequeño, otra vez. Me siento, pero que muy pequeño. Pero esto es una pasada. Xenoblade Chronicles X. Sin palabras, en serio. How about a quick tour of the facilities to refresh your memory? Mola. Let's start with your living quarters. Follow me. citizens of New Los Angeles. Good day. This is your Director General, Maurice Chausson. Today, I once again come to you with news I am truly delighted to share. 
Yesterday, we repatriated ten more White Whale crew members. These fellow pioneers will rejoin our ranks as citizens of NLA, bringing with them skills and know-how that will bolster our ability to survive and indeed flourish here in our new home. This, of course, is only the latest success in our continuing efforts. Director General, un político. Two days ago, ma'am. Um? From political aide to director general in just a few weeks. At this rate, he'll be emperor by next month. Irina, Gwyn. Nice work out there, ma'am. Um. Vale, me han pillado, pero bueno, mostré interés. Right. Introductions. Irina Akulov, Gwyn Evans. Mucho gusto. This one of the survivors, Colonel. The survivor. I only found a single pod intact at Starfall Basin. Wait, what? What happened to ten more crew members? Come on, seriously? Shosan was never one to let the truth get in the way of a good speech. Es un político después de todo. Still, every last survivor counts. You can call me Arena. I'm with the Interceptors. Me too. Same division. You can call me Mr. Evans. No te lo crees ni tú. Me quedo con Gwyn. The three of us were in the coalition forces together, specifically the Special Operations Heavy Armor Training Unit, aka the Skeleton Crew. I was a colonel and Arena a lieutenant. Gwyn was a more recent recruit. Of course, I keep telling them we don't need those old ranks anymore now that we're here. You're still colonel to me, ma'am. No reorg will ever change that. And that's not about chain of command either. It's about respect. You've earned it. And the award for best ass kiss goes to... Tío, cállate, Win. <laughs> well, I'd remind you both the ma'ams aren't necessary if I thought you'd listen. All right, ma'am. We should be getting back to work. Until next time, Colonel. Vaya, por lo que veo eres muy popular, Elma. We should be going too. The administrative district isn't far. That's where you'll be calling home. For now, anyway. Capítulo 1. Nueva Los Ángeles. Vale. Wow. Esto va a ser divertido. Vamos a ver. Oh, yo quiero uno de estos. Yo quiero uno de estos. Yo quiero uno de estos. Oh, vale, no pasa nada. No pasa nada. Vale, quiero uno de esos ya. Quiero uno de estos. Aunque mucho más personalizado, a mi estilo. Como mola esto. Y vaya salto acabo de pegar. La leche. Me he asustado hasta yo. Ya, sí. Me pregunto quién habrá sido. Ajá, vale, bien. Sir. Sir. Todavía sigo sin creerme que puedo, no sé, que pueda hacer estos saltos. Es impresionante. Eso ha ido por los pelos. Uh, 
Vale. Uh, vale. Me he perdido algo, ¿verdad? Look, I know what exhaust smells like, and it was exhaust in the cockpit. Just check the ductwork, would you? Oh, I'm checking. I just seriously doubt. Hey, look at that. The intake exhaust bypass is reversed. Oh man, it's a good thing I caught that. You caught that? You're the one who cleared me to fly. Everything okay? It's not like you to flub a flight check, Lynn. Good thing you had a rugged pilot like Doug at the controls. Oh, hey, Elma. How'd it go out there? And would this be one of the you know who's? Creo que sí. ¿Verdad? Cool. I'm Lynn Lee Koo, mechanic and top all around fix it gal for Blade. Mucho gusto. Um. Mm hmm. Uh, ajá, vale, bien Vaya, cualquiera de las dos opciones me va a meter en un buen marrón Lo veo venir mm. Mm. Solo por curiosidad Tiene 13 años, ¿tú qué crees? Anyway, you guys heading back to the barracks? Yeah. Why do you ask? As long as you're here, why don't I take you on the transport? It's a great way to see the city. Me gusta el plan. the grand tour. That sounds like a great idea. All right, Doug. I think that'll be all for today. You can clean up here and dock the scale. What? Don't mind the exhaust. I'll take care of it tomorrow. Don't mind it. Wait, why am I cleaning up your mess in the first place? Nos Lynn! vemos. Lynn! Vale, a ver. Añadir al equipo, ¿no? Ah, perfecto. Ya está. Vale, ¿qué arma tiene Lin? La leche, si es más grande que ella. No es coña, el arma que lleva Lin es más grande que ella. Y a saber lo que pesa eso. Hey. Piloto de transporte, ¿no? Vale, hay que ir por aquí, creo. Creo, no lo tengo muy claro. De hecho, no tengo ni idea, pero bueno. Y mola más. Es 
Speaking of which, we don't really have time for a full pleasure cruise here. Why don't you give us the express tour, then? Just the highlights. Okay, you got it. <clears throat> New LA is divided into four districts. We departed from the industrial district, where Duck and I were conducting the flight test. It has food production, skill development, you know, industries and stuff. It's also where the West Gate is located, remember? Expect to pass through there fairly often. The only other gate out of the city is in the administrative district, but I'm skipping ahead. <clears throat> Next is the commercial district. Restaurants, galleries, cafes, clothing, groceries, you name it. It's a veritable shopping paradise! The CD is the closest thing to a downtown we've got. It can actually get pretty crowded sometimes. Well, by NLA standards anyway. Day or night, the best and only bargains on the planet. De hecho, las únicas, ¿no? Las únicas ofertas del planeta, ¿no? Creo. Yo solo dejo caer la idea. If you're ever looking for quiet time alone, want to relax and unwind with a good book, that's the spot. Right? The park is my favorite place to just zone out and chill. And last but not least, our destination, the administrative district, the nerve center at the heart of NLA. Note the distinct dual level structure here. The upper level holds our administrative tower, home to Blade HQ and the government. Not to mention Armory Alley, as well as the barracks where we live. The lower level there is a hangar complex for scale maintenance and repairs. And this concludes our tour. We will be landing shortly. Thanks. Vale, ha sido muy instructivo. Gracias, we'll Lynn. the rest of orientation for once we're back at the barracks. Yo quiero mi Skell, ya. Lo quiero ya. Bueno, de hecho lo quería para hace 5 minutos ya. Quiero mi meca. Enjoy your stay in the administrative district and thank you for flying Linley Airlines. Vaya, hay alguien que disfruta. Then I should file my report. They'll be eager to hear the details on how I found you, I'm sure. Well then, we better not keep them waiting. The barracks are pretty close actually. They're set up just behind the giant blade tower here. Oh, vale, bien. That road there wraps around the left side and leads right to it. We'll pass through Armory Alley, but let's not get sidetracked, okay? We can check it out later. No prometo nada. No puedo prometer nada. No, no puedo prometer nada. ¿Eh? ¿Eh? O sea, ¿me estaba poniendo carita? Me estaba poniendo ojitos y caritas, ¿no? Vale, eh... Lo siento, pero no eres mi tipo Tío, no eres mi tipo, en serio No, no lo eres Ajá. Um, vale, bien, vale, bien, vale, 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 vale. Prefiero enfrentarme a los bichos de antes. Sin duda, sin duda. Me estaba poniendo ojitos, ¿verdad? Creo que sí. What is it?
la Torre Blade. Vaya, gracias. Pues está bien saber eso. Para la brigada Pathfinder, un nombre curioso. Vale, chicos, no, no, no hagáis nada, ¿vale? No hagáis nada. Ni se te ocurra disparar. ¡Yis! Vale, no pasa nada. Mejor que me denieguen el acceso a que me dispare uno de estos. Working hard. Vaya, eso sí que es ponerse en el peor de los casos. Y tanto. Bueno, eh, según ha dicho Elma, tenemos que ir por la izquierda, ¿no? Pues nada, hagamos caso a la jefa. Callejón de la armería, de acuerdo. De eso estoy seguro. A ver... Working hard. Vale, y esto es un terminal de compra, ¿no? ¡Gis! Ah, cierto, es que todavía... Vale, todavía... Bueno, todavía no estoy dentro, creo. Toma salto. Y salto. Y salto. No me puedo creer que pueda saltar tanto. Ni tan alto. ¿Qué Ya, ya, sí, a nosotros nos vas a decir, bien. Ajá, vale. De nada. Barra con Blade. Así que aquí es donde vamos a vivir, mola. A ver qué tal por dentro. And here we are, the Blade Barracks. Consider yourself our guest until we finish getting you registered. Feel free to come and go as you please. Mostrar interés, por supuesto. I think I can answer that one. 
So, you must be the latest rescue. Secretary Nagi! Mizku. Chipper as always, I see. What can I say? Pep is my middle name. I ran into Doug Barrett on the way here, and he didn't seem quite so upbeat. Yeah, me pregunto por qué. Anything about today's flight I should know? Um. No. Nada. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Be sure it stays that way. More importantly, Elma, you found another one. Excellent work out there. Just doing my job, Mr. Secretary. Now. As for officially registering our new citizen here. Why don't we talk inside? There's a lot of ground to cover. It could take some time. Ah, yes, of course. Forgive me. You must be weary from the stasis and your journey back to us. Please, after you. I'll put on some tea. Wow. Por dentro no está nada mal este sitio. Pero que nada mal. Allow me to formally introduce myself. My name is Kentaro Nagi. You may remember me as Captain of the White Whale, but now I serve as Secretary of Defense here for New L.A. The Provisional Government has charged me with keeping the peace, so all military and police matters fall under my jurisdiction. He's also my superior officer. And he'd be an excellent person to talk to when you're ready to start looking for work. What about a job right here with Blade? He seems capable. Let's give it a little more time. At least until he knows enough to be able to make an informed Venga, ya. decision. En serio. He seems to be ya lo he decidido. Some form of memory loss. Memory loss? From the stasis? He could barely remember his name. And nothing at all about what happened to Earth or the White Whale. I see. Though, come to think of it, the entire lot of us have only been on this planet for what? Two months? It shouldn't take very long to get caught up. My thoughts exactly. Well then, where should we begin? Mm. Vale, a ver. Vale, empecemos por... Preguntar cómo acabó la, humina, eh, la humanidad en Mira. It started at the end, two years ago. The end of Earth. The casualty of a battle between two hyper-advanced alien civilizations. Their technology and weapons were beyond our comprehension. We were like infants, naked, powerless. The Earth was reduced to ash and blown away. I still wonder if I hadn't been there, if maybe all of this could have somehow been avoided. Mm -hmm. No one can know that, Elma. What we do know is without you, there'd have been no Project Exodus, and no escape for any of us. Wow, 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 espera, espera, que me he perdido. No, but we are here and we are alive. We survived. So yes, Project Exodus. Once we learned the Earth might be threatened, we needed a plan to preserve all her various life forms. That plan was the Earth Life Colonization Project, otherwise known as Project Exodus. Those of us who escaped on the White Whale spent over two years wandering in space. Two hard years. But we clung to our mission, find a habitable planet, and settle there. 
We had no idea how long it would take. Or that the decision would eventually be made for us. The Xenoforms found us again, and, well, it wasn't a happy reunion. Earth wasn't enough. They wanted humanity destroyed. For better and for worse, we were close to planet Mira when we lost control of the White Whale. Inertia and gravity took it from there. The ship had taken way too much damage to survive entering the atmosphere intact. We had no choice. We channeled all the power we had left to soft land the habitat. Once the dust cleared, we set to work transforming it into its current state. Searching for survivors, establishing Blade, installing the provisional government. Basically, making it a sustainable city. Wow. Vale, solo una cosa. ¿Estamos evitando el tema de antes? O sea, ¿por qué...? ¿Qué tiene que ver Elma en todo esto? Mm. Vale, aquí hay cosas muy raras. Cosas que no entiendo. Y la verdad es que eso me mosquea lo suyo. Pero bueno, sigamos ahora con más información. Blade is an acronym. Builders of a legacy after the destruction of Earth. Quite fitting, I think. It's a relatively new organization. Up there in space, we had plenty of provisions, and a crew trained to handle the limited amount of situations we might encounter in our travels. But of course, all that changed after we lost most of our ship and came crashing down here on Mira. We needed food, water, search and rescue teams, surveyors, police, The list goes on and on. It was too much for the provisional government to manage on its own, so Blade was born. The idea was to have one central organization with different disciplines to fill these various roles. Its core was pulled from the coalition military, so it's mostly former soldiers. But fighting isn't our most important duty. Right now we have a single top priority that supersedes all others. The search for and recovery of the life hold. El arca de la vida. Take a look at this. Vale, ¿qué es eso? The white whale was designed to carry an exceedingly large number of passengers, all of them held in stasis, all housed in a structure called the life hold. This is a complete schematic of that facility. Only essential personnel were conscious and active for the journey from Earth. The flight crew, maintenance engineers. And of course, some military so we could defend ourselves if necessary. But the vast majority were in the life hold. Are in the life hold. With any luck, they're all still there, in stasis, waiting to be rescued. But there's a problem. We now know the life hold broke apart along with the rest of the ship when we came down on Mira. What we don't know is exactly where all the pieces landed. Not very comforting, I know. Blade's top priority now is locating the missing units. Vale, pues ya estoy al día, así que venga. Quiero unirme a Blade. Así de simple. Ah, uh, yes. All citizens of NLA are required to register their name, age, and occupation. We also ask you report any personal assets and take a short survey regarding your current state of health. Chequeo? All as a precaution. I'm sure you understand. Espera, espera. Chequeo? As the caretakers of humanity's survival, we all have certain responsibilities. And hey, it's not all bad. Registering gets you access to all kinds of public services. In any case, I'm sure this is all a lot to digest. You'll be wanting some time. Ms. Ku, even I'm tired of hearing myself speak. Why don't you take our guest out for some air? Perhaps a tour of the administrative district? Yes, sir. Come on, we'll keep this briefing brief. 
Ah, vale, bien, por mí no hay ningún problema. A ver. Entendido, vale. Pues nada, toca dar una vuelta. Esto va a ser divertido. Mm. Creo que la respuesta es muy simple. Quiero unirme a Blade, pero desde el primer instante... Y eso no ha cambiado. You know, it's not every day we're authorized to let a civilian tour the administrative district. Yeah. Nagi must really, really want him to join Blade. Pues he captado el mensaje. The AD is a bit different from the other districts. It's got everything a Blade would need, all in one place, without any extra fluff. Get a load of that skill. Even the way that they walk is so cool. Coincido contigo, oh, Lin. Yeah, Qué it, pasada. Mm, mm, mm. Como mola. Quiero uno. Now this guy gets it. Aren't they just the coolest? Just everything about them. The lasers, the force fields, the bipedal and vehicular transformations. You ever have that dream where you're inside one and it's just transforming over and over and over? Eh? Wow. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Actually, I uh, I don't normally show this to people, but I've been working on some Skell fan fiction. Hold on, I'll just pull it up here one sec. Lynn. Oh. Uh. Right. Sorry. Vaya, alguien está más motivada que yo, y eso es decir mucho. To counter potential alien threats. It wasn't enough to save Earth, though. We were outnumbered and outgunned. Still, just look around you. New LA has gone from basically nothing to this in just two short months. We could never have come so far so fast without scale technology. I'd love to get you into one to see for yourself, but it's not that simple. Ah, ¿por qué? Yeah, yeah. For one thing, only blades are allowed to pilot scouts. Otro motivo para ser blade. Even then, you need a license. These aren't toys we're talking about. They're complex machines with powerful weapons, and they're a precious resource. We only have so many of them to go around. So yes, as you might imagine, the certification process is a fairly rigorous one. I'm sure you're thinking, where do I sign up for the test? But it's not that simple. They choose you, not the other way around. You can't just walk in the front door and volunteer. Entonces? There is some criteria. Oh, the venga. details are largely hidden, but basically HQ only allows the cream of the crop to take the test. Blades who go above and beyond in their duties and for the people of New LA in general. So what do you say? If you become a blade and work hard, I'm sure it'll only be a matter of time before they tap you on the shoulder. Acepto el trabajo. Acepto el trabajo. That reminds me. Why don't we check out the mission control board first? That's where we take on our assignments. Pero yo quiero el skill. Let's head on over. Ah, vale, 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 de acuerdo, chicas, pero yo quiero el skill ya. Quiero personalizar al mío. No es justo. Pero mirad qué pasada. Por favor, se me cae la baba con uno de estos. Es precioso. Se me está cayendo la baba. No, tengo que dejar de mirarlo. Tengo que dejar de mirarlo. Tengo que dejar de mirarlo. Pero es que es muy difícil. Pero mirad qué pasada. Oh, por favor. Por favor. Oh, por favor. Se le pone un color rojo o azul y una mezcla de blanco y precioso. Un par de cañones y... Madre mía. Qué maravilla. 
Vale, vale. Tengo que dejar de mirarlo. Pero es que es difícil. Es muy difícil. Oh, mola. Everyone comes here and selects from the missions available on the board. And it's not just official blade tasks. Anyone with a request is free to post here. Businesses, citizens, whoever. Yeah, it's basically how anything gets done in New LA, so the board is constantly updating. Just about every blade will stop by here at some point in their shift. It's like our second home. You'll always find a number of blades around here, blowing off steam or browsing mission control for their next assignment. Whenever I get freed up, I'll stop here first thing to check for any missions I might be suited for. Likewise. And if the assignment seems too tough to handle solo, that's what the scout console is for. We should show you that next. Hey, who's giving this tour anyway? We also have the scout console, if the assignment seems too tough to handle solo. And uh, Elma just said that, didn't she? Sí, eso es. Hey. Vamos a ver, ve al terminal de reclutamiento Blaze en el distrito administrativo de NLA. Vale. A ver. Yes. Uh... No, 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 el, el problema no es ese, yo ya lo tengo decidido. El problema es que estas dos me quieren dar un paseo primero. Oh, gracias, Eleonora. A ver, ¿habrá que ir por aquí? Hmm. ¿Y esta terminal? ¡Tada! The Blade Scout Console. When the going gets tough, the tough go to the scout console. You know, to get tougher. If you do end up joining us, you'll quickly realize just how important this little kiosk is. A lot of the mission control assignments are too much for any one blade to handle. They tend to call for multiple members with specialized knowledge or unique skills. This console lets you search for and recruit other blades to fill those roles for just such an occasion. You can't spell blade without team. Sort of. Anyway, awesome, right? So you're ready to join up? Sí, sí, sí. Hang on, Lynn. Take it easy, would you? Oh, venga ya. What? I'm just saying you'd have to be some kind of an idiot not to want to join Blade. Or y lo digo hasta yo. Person. Oh, and here I thought you might be pressuring our guest. Apology accepted. Now, how about a little shopping? And I'm not talking about the stuff over in the commercial district. I'm talking about Armory Alley. Pues nada, vamos allá. Listen. Hey. So this street's what we call Armory Alley. Blades can requisition equipment from any of the vendors here. I won't lie, most Blade members face danger on a daily basis. Having the latest gear isn't about impressing your friends. It's a matter of survival. True enough. And that goes not only for your personal armor and weapons, what we call ground gear, but for skell equipment as well. You can even buy whole skells. Can you imagine owning your own skell? Se me está haciendo la boca agua de repente. Sí, sí, la visita, te entiendo, sí. I think all that's left is the heart of Blade itself. Blade Tower. Normal que Lin se pierda un poco cuando habla sobre los Skells. La comprendo a la perfección, a mí me pasa lo mismo. No puedo dejar de babear por uno de estos. Bueno, a ver, tenemos que ir a la torre, ¿no? Pues vamos allá. Esto sí que es un salto olímpico. Como para ganar la medalla de oro. So yeah, Blade Tower. 
When we come here, it's usually to stop by Blade HQ. The higher-ups, like Secretary Nagi and Commander Vandom, will spend most of their day here. The government leaders, too. They're based in the tower. Guys like our new Director General Maurice Chausson, for example. Ese no es el político de tres al cuarto que apareció en la pantalla. You'll want to remember this place. And that about does it for our tour. So, what do you think? Pretty amazing setup, right? Joy, you can't wait sí. to join Blade, right? Okay, Lynn, seriously. Lo admito, that's lo admito, enough. lo admito. We're not here to make a sales pitch. We just want you to have all the facts so you can make an informed decision to join us or not. Now that you've seen where and how we work. Hopefully it made a good impression, but your decision will be just that, your decision. In any case, let's head back to the barracks. Secretary Nagi will be waiting. Por fin, por fin, por fin, vale, ya está. Creo que va siendo hora de que le dé mi respuesta. Vale, vamos a dejarlo aquí, espero que os haya gustado y hasta la próxima.